I always start off with my horses in a little bit of a forward posting trot, just to loosen them up, to get them moving in their body, get them a bit supple, uh, get them stretching. It's also a good time to sort of feel, how do they, how do they feel? I'm, I'm always wondering, how does my horse feel the first time when I start to trot? And so I'll start a little bit, maybe two times around to the left, and then I'll go a through the middle, change direction. We can do that now, Skylar, come through the middle of this circle and change direction. And then we travel to the right. When we change the diagonal, you also feel, how does your horse feel tracking in the new direction? Some horses feel different from one side to the next. And we're nicely traveling forward with a nice forward posting trot. We're not asking for too much collection in the beginning. We're just letting the horse warm up. And I almost feel like it's important to let the horse find its own balance. You know, even if the horse is a bit fussy or his head is a bit high, um, I certainly don't let them put their head on the ground, but basically we do this nice forward posting trot. Now that she's been a couple times around to the right, we go back to the left. We come back to the original direction and then we start to gather up the reins a little bit. Again, we're not really ask asking for a lot of collection, but we're asking for the horse to start to work a little bit. It's time to sort of get down and do some business. So we're gonna see she's gonna gather up the reins a little bit, put your leg on. Skylar can be a little bit more forward at the trot. Just make him move a little bit. Don't over flex, but just ask him to work a little bit. That's right. You can see the position of her hand is effectively out in front of her. The rein is a good length, very tall in her body. She's got a really good position, good angles in her leg. The leg is not in front, it's right underneath. Her base is quite strong. And she's just asking the horse to work a little bit in a little bit of a frame. And just by asking this little bit of extra work, you can see the horse, you get a little bit of a resistance, but if you're consistent about it, she has a feel of the mouth now and asking the horse to work. Then the horse, you can see the horse starts to concentrate on her and pay attention. And this is really important. In the beginning, oftentimes horses will look left or look right and be a little bit spooky. And you always want to try to get them so that they're nicely trotting around the ring on a little bit of a frame, a little bit of connection and starting to work a little bit. Now she's, he's working nicely through his back. She's got a good suppleness. Let's change direction, Skylar. Again, we're gonna come through the middle of the circle, change direction. I always like to, when I'm warming up and when I'm working my horses, to do evenly on both sides. We do work a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. Now, as she's traveling to the right, we're gonna to start to ask for him to bend slightly inside, start to work a little bit more, get a little bit more um, work in the body that he's collecting his body and powering from behind a little bit. She has a really good contact with the horse and she's established this horse. You can see he's really concentrating on her. Okay, let's make a transition to the walk. As we get warming up, I love to do a lot of transitions. Walk, trot, walk, trot, and then you'll see we're gonna do an exercise where we do a lot of sitting, trot, canter, sitting, trot, canter. I find that to be a very, very, very good exercise for teaching a horse to be polite, teaching rideability, teaching control, so that the horse is really listening to the rider and very subtly, with her very subtle aid, she can move seamlessly from trot to canter and back to trot again. Okay, let's get the right lead canter. As she makes that transition up to the canter, you can see she slightly bends him to the inside. She takes a little bit of feel of the inside rein and softens him up and then makes that transition and then she gets very little resistance for him when she does that. Let's just close the leg a little bit and ask him to move a little bit forward. You can see how this is where we have to work, that's plenty. You can see how this is how she, we have to work with this horse as she goes to canter. He gets a little bit above the bridle. So we're gonna be patient and we're gonna ask him to slightly bend inside and come a little bit rounder and get a little softer. And then when he gives in on the inside and then she can transfer back to the outside rein. But you start with creating a little bit of bend to the inside and getting him a little bit soft off the inside rein and then he ends up uh, nicely balanced on her outside rein. 
Good. And you're going to go through the middle of this space now, Skylar, and do a simple change and go the other way, just so that we can keep things balanced. We're going to do a little on the right, then we're going to change direction through the trot, make it simple, and do a little bit to the left. With the lower leg, we're going to make him go forward a little bit, make him move. That's right. Stay a little connected with the fingers. The seat is connected. The body is tall. And you can see how now he's starting to work a little bit and get a little bit softer for her. Not too fast, just a nice positive canter. And just doing this very simple flat work to, till the horse sort of relax into her and accepts her seat and her legs and her fingers so that you see there he's a little rude and she nicely sort of says, hey, 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 come back. This is what it is about training a horse. You know, you can have, the horses can be a little bit rude in the mouth and then you talk to them and say, nope, 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 you're gonna stay here. And then you soften again. When he's good, then she softens. If he's a little bit rude, then she plays with it and asks him to come a little together. Good, so now, Let's just take a little walk pause for a moment, transition down to the walk, staying tall with the body. And you can see she made a really nice transition down to the walk without him coming above the bridle. She stayed very connected with the horse. So as she's cantering and as you're, you're feeling when you start out, if your horse is, this horse nicely came down onto the bridle, but if you feel like the horse is a little bit behind the bit or he's not moving and he's not in front of your leg, then maybe get up off the saddle we can show this now, Skylar. Let's get a left lead canter. And you'll feel, as you feel when you start, this horse didn't, but as you start and the horse is a little bit stuck and he's really not going somewhere. So one time you get up off their back and just let them roll for a little bit. Can leave, the, you don't have to ask too much of the frame, but they put, she puts her leg on the horse and she asks him really to move forward for a second. And you get almost like a little bit of a gallop, even a little bit more one time, Skylar. Yeah. You see there, she's still tall in her position. She's light, she's, she's up out of the tack, her seat is light, and now he's just sort of moving a little bit. He's going somewhere. And you can do that, and you can travel and get the horse really out in front of you. Then you can go back and start to work on the collection. It's a really helpful tool to make sure that your horse is not falling behind you, that you have him in front of your leg, we say, that he's actually going somewhere and he's not holding his body. Okay, Skylar, now let's sit back down and start to just nicely bring him together. Super, super. And there now he's soft and he's in front of the leg. She's got her leg on him and, he's, and she can start to now really work him through the bridle. Mm -hmm.